this video is for you if you want to save money and automate your email workflow or you are just starting with email marketing and you don't have enough money yet to get expensive softwares so if you feel you belong to this category or you just want to learn then you are welcome to another video and in today's video i'm going to show you how to prepare a series of email on a free mailchimp account if you are already using mailchimp you will know that mailchimp does not allow you to send automated email on a free account you either have to be using standard or premium plans let me show you an instance here so you can see on the home screen you can see now guest shoppers back to their cart mailchimp is trying to tell me about the automation but if i click on start automation and i click on email series you are going to see that it says automation series are available with standard and premium plans so it means that we cannot send automated series on a free account but in this tutorial i'm going to share with you the idea we are going to use to prepare our automated series of mail so before we proceed let me quickly introduce myself i'm a you and i share different tips tricks and strategies that you can use to make money online and also improve your online business just like what i'm going to be sharing with you in today's tutorial so if you are new to this channel please click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so without further ado let's get started So first of all, you should have a form on your website where you can collect leads. So then the people that sign up on your form will go into your list. Then from there, the, the series of mail you prepare will be sent to them based on the time you set. So in order to prepare the mail, what you just have to do is just to go to campaign. So this is campaign right here. Then click on it. So then you click on create campaign. Then right here. So you can see email here. So you are going to click on email. So this is what we are going to do now. You can see regular here. This is automated and this is plain text. So what you just have to do is to click on automated. And the reason why we are going to click on automated is because we can schedule the time we want the subscribers to receive our mail. Then right here, you can see different options here. But I would suggest you pick on welcome new subscribers. So now right here you can see welcome new subscribers so you can see this single email onboarding series education series normally if you are using the premium plan you can just use this onboarding series but since we are using the free plan the latest plan that is available for us is this single email so let us assume you want your email subscribers to receive like um, maybe 10 emails or 20 emails or so or maybe three or whatever amount of email you want so i would suggest that you should have written the email somewhere then what you need to do is just to come to this campaign email so instead of this single welcome email you can just decide to change it to maybe um email one i'll tell you the reason why we are, why we are calling it email one as you move further so let's call this email one and since we are using a free account we only have one list so this is where all the subscribers will be going into then the next thing you need to do is to click on begin so this is the name we call it which is email one so then you can see here sent to new subscriber contacts immediately after they join this list so right here you can decide to change the time they are going to receive your first email so what you can just do is just to click on edit the delay and recipients so now you can see new subscribe contacts immediately after they join the list so you can decide to change it from here either you want immediately or one hour or six hour or one day so now you might be thinking, what if you want to send them a message in two hours? Because two hours is not listed yet. So what you just have to do is just to click out of it. Then you can cancel this. Then you can see use advanced settings. So you can click on this. So under this use advanced settings, you can decide to put whatever time you want. So what you can so you can now click on here, use advanced settings. So now you can see right here welcome message so all we just need to do is just to click here you can see now trigger immediately after subscribers join your audience so all now need to do is just to click on edit so then right here you can decide to put the time you want so what you can now do is just to click on delay which is immediately here so you can see either if you want if you want them to receive your first mail immediately so you can click on immediately if you want them to receive it maybe after some hours or after some days or some weeks but i would suggest your first mail should be sent immediately because sometimes you may be because sometimes you may be giving out a lead magnet and 
you know, it's only going to make sense when you give them your lead magnets immediately after they subscribe. But if you want to send your message to them after some hours, depending on the kind of campaign that you're running, all you just have to do is just to click on hours. Then right here, you can click on the amount of hours you want to wait. Maybe two hours or three hours or four hours or so. But if you don't want hours, you can decide to change it to maybe days. So you can put it there. You can type the amount of days that you want. And if it is in weeks, so you can decide to do that right here. So let us say you want to send the message to them after maybe like um, two hours. So you can decide to put two hours here. Then what you just need to do is just to click on update trigger right here. So once you've done that, all you just need to do is just to click on design email. Then you are going to name this email, but make sure you give it a name that will make you understand what it is when you see it in future. So once you give it, you can give it a name. So let us just say first email. Then you can decide to then you change the subject here. So you give the subject that you want. Maybe um this is your free book. Or maybe if you want it like this, maybe thanks for joining us or whatever you like. So you use your email subjects right here. So preview text. So this is what they will see before they open the email. Then your name, then you put your name and your email address. So one thing you need to know is this. Make sure that your name and email is the same throughout all the automated sequence. So once you are done, the next thing you need to do is just to click on next right here. Then if you pick any template that you want. So I prefer to use this one column template. Then you can decide to pick any template that you want. So let me just pick this. So right here, you can decide to edit the mail. So this, you can decide to delete this picture by clicking this. Then if you don't want this image here, you can also decide to delete it. Then you click on delete here. So if you want to upload image, you can just drag it right here. So you can upload it, put it here. Then you click here to upload an image. So depending on what you want. So let me exit from here. Then if you want to add text, so this is text, box text. So all you can just play around with all this. So once you are through with creating your email, the next thing you need to do is to click on save and continue. So now we are done with creating the email. So you can see two hours after they subscribe, they are going to receive your the first email. So then you click on next. So after clicking on next, you can see ready to send, review your workflow if you want. So this is everything. They now click on start sending. So the first email automation is ready. So let me click on start sending here. So you can see here the first email automation is ready. So the next thing we need to do is to create another automation. Then we call it email two. We change the time. Instead of two hours, we can put maybe three hours. Or maybe instead of two hours, you can put maybe after one day. So depending on the time that people subscribe to your email list, they are going to get the message based on the time they subscribe. So let us assume I subscribe, I subscribe now. In the next two hours, I'm going to receive the first email. So if you prepare another email after one day, so the next 24 hours after I subscribe, I'm going to receive that email based on how you set the time. So your subscribers are going to receive their email at a different time based on when they subscribe to your list. So now we've prepared the first one. So the next thing you need to do is to click on create another automation. So let's do that here. So the next thing you need to do is to repeat the same process. We are going to come back here again, then click on welcome new subscribers. Then this time around, you can call this one email two. Then we click on begin. So what you need to do next is to click on use advanced settings again. So we are just going to be repeating the same thing that we did over and over. But the only thing you need to do is just to change the email and to change the time. So we we'll click on use advanced settings again. So now you come here again. So you can see trigger immediately after subscribe, contact, join your audience. But if you remember the first email we set was um, after two hours. So all you need to do is just to click on edit here and change it to maybe three hours or one day, depending on how you want your um, email subscribers to receive your automated sequence. So you click on edit. They can come here. So maybe after a, a day, so you click and click day. So maybe after one day, so you just click on one. You just type one day, then you click on 
update trigger. So you click on next. So I don't want to make this video too long and boring by just repeating the same thing that we've done already. So just what we did the first time is what we are going to do again. Repeatedly, you are going to keep doing it for whatever amount of email you want. So each of these email that you prepare will work independently according to the software. Mailship will understand that once any, once anybody subscribe, the first this mail should get to them maybe immediately or maybe after two hours, depending on how you set it. Then Mailship will understand again that okay, this is another mail again. It's supposed to get to this subscriber after one day. So all of them will keep going individually based on the time that you prepare them so that is just how to create automated series of mail with mailchimp on a free account so i hope this video is very helpful and if you have learned something today and if this video has helped you save money because every email software out there they usually charge a particular amount of money for you to for you to use their platform before you can send automated mails but with this strategy, you'll be able to save money and send free email to people using your free MailChimp account. So if this video has helped you in one way or the other, please click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell. And don't forget to like the video. And if you have any questions, you can put that in the comment box below. I'm going to reply to all your questions. So thank you for watching and I really appreciate you watching this video to this extent. So see you in the next video.